This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by lynda.com, the unparalleled online video training library. For a free 10-day unlimited trial, visit lynda.com slash macvoices. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at NAB in Las Vegas. This is Dave of Adobe. He's going to show us Character Animator, one of the arguably one of the coolest things I've seen at the show yet. Kind of a surprise tucked back here in, in a back corner of the Adobe booth. This is a little gem. Dave, it's great to have you. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I've, I've watched the demo once, but I'm going to let you run through it and tell us what Character Animator is and does. Okay, so Adobe Character Animator is designed to bring Photoshop and Illustrator artwork to life. So to make it significantly easier than it has been before. So I'll jump right in here, and I mean the workflow starts in either Photoshop or Illustrator. So I have a Photoshop document here of uh, a face, and the only thing special about it is that it's got names, so layers that are named specifically, uh, things like left eyelid, right eyebrow, neutral mouth, things like that. So by naming the layers what they are, you can import the PSD directly into Character Animator. And then with no further work, it's pre-rigged, and all I need to do is turn on my camera input and set my rest pose. And now, when I move around, so when I tilt, he tilts, when I get close, he gets close. When I, ah, when I open my mouth, he makes his mouth. I can blink, he'll blink, eyebrows. And if I turn on the microphone, now when I talk, he'll automatically lip sync. Now it's, so, it's very noisy here, so the lip sync quality won't be very good, but uh, with, with better quality audio, the li lip sync is quite good. Um, so obviously this is something that would take a lot of time to do uh, traditionally. Uh, let me also show here another character. Uh, let's see, where is he, Red Monster? So this guy has uh, movable pupils, and if I look left and right, he'll look left and right. And he's, uh, he's Illustrator, so we're taking the vectors here and jiggling them. So even if I stand still, you can see that he's got kind of a hand-drawn liveness to him. And his feet are kind of pinned to the ground there, so that's why he, he, he stretches. And if I make this full screen, you can see a little bit better the, the way, the, the tracking data that we're using to drive the, the puppets. So. Let's see, uh, how about can show. So it's important that this works with any artwork at all from Photoshop or Illustrator. We wanted, we didn't want to can it. Um, all previous attempts that we had seen to make character animation really easy required canning. You know, you had to use the characters that they had created, and we wanted something that, that would be completely customizable. So here I have a character that uh, you know, I can move his arms around, but I can also hit O, turn on his light bulb. I can hit the V key and make his calipers open and close. Um, I can hit the D to open his door. You know, this is all stuff that we didn't know anything about, right? We, we didn't design the program for this. The artist just decided they wanted the character to have a door, and so they said, okay, I'm going to sign the D key to the door. So the keyboard shortcuts are all part of the art. The art decides which keys trigger what. Um, and then also kind of interesting here, if I zoom in, you can see he, he doesn't have regular lip sync mouths. He has little audio waveform mouths. You know, again, so you don't you can you, you your your imagination can just run wild, do whatever whatever you want. Uh, let's see a few other things. Um, let's show the monster fish here. So here's two characters. Here I got a character. You can see the automatic secondary animation on his horn. So when I rotate, it kind of lags behind. And you also notice they both are breathing. And that's the breathe behavior. And if I select them here, um, oops, let me undo that. Um, can, oh, I'm gonna find the breathe behavior. There it is. I can make it more extreme. Or undo that. Um, I've got this horrible feeling that this is going to suck up a huge amount of time because this is just so much fun to play with. It is. It's been really fun to develop. The uh, there was this magical moment the first time 
we created a character, in fact, I think it was Red Monster, and it had the smile built in, and um, we had the creator of Red Monster looking at the camera, we brought him on screen, and then he smiled because he saw his character on the screen and the character smiled back at him and then he cracked up because the character smiled and it was just this back and forth and, and, and it was great. Um, okay, so what was I doing here? Uh, the breathe, okay, yeah, so we just changed the breathe behavior um, and I can show, I could, uh, I can show you a recording. Well, let, let, okay, let's switch to um, uh, tra uh, how traditional animation works in here. So, so. One thing, traditional animators sometimes see this and say, oh my god, I'm not going to have a job anymore because like, this is going to kill traditional animation because um, now it's too easy. But I don't think that's true. Um, it, the, there's still a place for traditional animation. Traditional, you know, Hand-drawn animation is, is always going to be an art form that th this is not going to replace. This will open up new avenues, I think, but um, I think actually will increase the, the need for um, traditionally frame-by-frame uh, -frame animation because now it's going to be so much easier to trigger. For example, I have this little uh, poof animation that I can do here, and you know, that's just a hand-drawn animation, frame-by-frame. And now I can use this here to say, you know, ooh, uh, here, let me hit the record button. Okay. Ooh, I'm feeling a little bit werewolfy. So now, let me, I'll stop that. This, yeah, we're, we're still tuning the performance. The, the, the version that's going to ship with After Effects soon is, um, we're calling a preview. There's still a lot of work for us to do on it before we'd be willing to call it 1.0, but we wanted to get it out and get feedback from the community to, uh, as to what we should do next. Um, so I just recorded that. Now I can hit, hit play back. So the audio is coming out the other side of the booth there, so I couldn't really hear, hear it here. But so now that was uh, that was one take. I can do multiple takes. I can mix and match parts from different takes. It's all non-destructive. Um, and I can, if I had two characters here, I could control one, do do a recording, control the other, do a recording, slip and slide them. You know. So it's designed as sort of a sort of more like a multi-track audio uh, workstation than a compositor. Or it, it's like a compositor in that it's compositing performances as opposed to pixels. The control point performance is really impressive, just how it's mimicking your eyes, your mouth, especially the red monster, because uh, that one was kind of obvious. Uh, I, it, it, and you're only using right now the cam that is on the Macintosh. That's right. This Nothing is a, special. Yeah, this is a standard uh, webcam. Yep. Uh, the the built-in oh. iMac cam, webcam, yeah. Oh, he's he's a little grim looking. Yeah. So this is the interrogation scene. Um, just just a, a different example to show that really it can work with any form of art. You know, if you you just want it, it we want it to to. You shouldn't be able to tell which tool you're using in your final results, right? And so, you know, you can really you can do anything. So how about the characters? Obviously, this will ship with some characters. Are there, and, and I know that it's not a shipping product yet, so I'm asking probably questions that should be asked in a few months. But will you be adding additional characters, or how's it going to work? So we, we, our customers are generally artistic already, and we expect them to be creating their own characters. We will ship with example characters, not for people to use, really, just to, just to teach. Um, there may be third parties that come out with libraries of characters for people who don't want to create their own. Um, and, you know, I would like to help facilitate that. That's something that we could do d down down the road, sort of create a marketplace for, for people to buy and sell characters. So, just to be clear, this this is not After Effects. We, we are not, we are in a completely separate application so that when this becomes available, I'll be able to go in and create my own red monster. Oh or that, whatever that is, uh, and, and, and play with it. And then if I want to step over and build, I can build. Yeah, so it, this is a separate application. It's a companion application to After Effects, so it will install with it. So when you're after, if you have Creative Cloud, you will get this for free with your next After Effects upgrade, and you won't even have to do anything. It will just install right next to After Effects. There's a menu command in After Effects that will just launch it, or you can launch it separately. You don't have to use it with After Effects. You can go directly to Premiere or to AME or any other product that takes a sequence of ping files and a WAV file. Um, and that's, that's, that's done through the export here. This is very impressive because you've been changing characters as we've been talking and the characters just, well, actually they're capturing me too as well as you, so I'll shut up and let you talk. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't know whether I'm talking or you're talking, so the lip sync will just pick up the lip sync in the room. So, Very nice, very nice.
Um, so obviously, this is uh, part of the will be part of the Adobe Creative Cloud. Yes. Yeah. So and hopefully, hopefully, people will like getting new treats for the same price they were always paying. So. This is very cool. This is very accessible and, and just a whole lot of fun. I, I love the story about the guy cracking up you know, the first time he saw it because it, it does have that effect on you. It makes you smile. Mm -hmm. It does, yeah. It's been fun. Dave, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. We'll be back with more from NAB in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard, by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.